Burn the plow and kill the cow. Burn the plow and kill the cow. Bobby, if you can put that up on the board, please. Burn the plow and kill the cow. Midnight Mana. Hi, God bless you. And what we're talking about tonight is this. Burn the plow and kill the cow. What we're talking about tonight is this, church. We're talking about barbecue. Very good. <laughs> Elder. We're talking about making a full commitment to the Lord. It's about being committed to God. Being faithful and being obedient to God and to His voice. Making a wholehearted commitment, Gadil. That's what we're talking about tonight. And if I, I think that if there ever was a time that Le Manus, Le Christiaia, uh, need to be fully committed to God is now. I think en enough's enough. Yes, Chuka, God bless you. Yes, absolutely. We're talking about Elisha. Uh, if there ever was a time that Trubul Teavas committed, Kadil is now. I think uh, we had enough of half-heartedness I think we've had enough of uh, opral commitment. I think we've had enough of uh, uh, being in and out uh, in our devotion, Kadil. I think it's time. I think if there ever was a time, Kaitrabu, Teavaz committed, uh, Teavaz devoted, uh, uh, Kadil is now. And this is why I'm sharing this message tonight. I'm talking to Christians, I'm talking to believers, and I be, and I, I think everyone in the room tonight are Christians, believers. Uh, I, I'm thinking that uh, 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 most of you have been Christians for a, a long time. And unfortunately, some Christians for a long time, we've never made a full, total commitment, Gadil. But I think it's time that changes. It changes. We need to change that direction right now. It's time that we get serious. It's time that we get uh, 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 devoted to Kachabuchi. Kachabuchi Let me just say this tonight. Hi, Ronnie. God bless you, Mokopral. Let me just say this tonight. If this what's going on did not wake us up and get us back to our senses, listen to me. Nothing will. Nothing will. I think one of the boys put this up. Uh, if the coronavirus doesn't change you, nothing will. And it's unfortunate that it's going to take a coronavirus to get our attention. But Asunen, if this virus, if this situation that we're going through has not got our attention and opened our eyes and turned our hearts and our minds back to God, then nothing in this world will. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, it's time that the Christians, it's time that the believers, it's time that those who claim that Jesus is their Lord, that now we start becoming committed, wholehearted Kadil. Let's serve the Lord wholeheartedly and be totally committed to Him. Danny Peterson put it up. Yes, it was Danny Peterson. Yeah, that's right, Bobby. Danny Peterson is the one who put it up. And it was a great statement. All right. So uh, I think uh, Chuka put it up, uh, Elisha. And that's correct. We're talking about Elijah and Elisha. Now, just a little quick background before I get to the verse of Scripture, because we're going to read tonight 1 Kings chapter 19. The story is this, Sazak, uh, a prophet in Israel, Kebushala, is Elijah. And everybody knows Elijah, the man of God. Uh, he called down fire from heaven on Mount, uh, Mount Carmel. Um, he killed 450 uh, prophets of Baal. And uh, Jezebel was trying to kill him. in the wilderness. But when God called him back, God gave him instructions. at Pendaliska, Elijah, I'm not done with you yet. I, I got a job for you. I want you to go and, and ordain, I want you to anoint, I want you to commission Elisha as your replacement. So, Golo Elijah Kana, Ano Foro Kaisazu Elisha. Oh, Elisha, now we usually get these two names confused, Elijah, Elisha, and I do it all the time. But Elijah was the first prophet, Elisha was the one who took over for him. And we pick up the story tonight in 1 Kings chapter 19, Verses 19 and 20. Bobby, if you can put it up on the board. 19, 1 Kings chapter 19, 19 and 20. And, and, and let's read these two verses of scripture. I want to start off here. So Elijah went and found Elisha, son of Shaphat, plowing a field. 
there were 12 teams of oxen in the field. And Elisha was plowing with the 12th team. Elijah went over to him and drew his cloak across his shoulders and then walked away. Verse 20, Tonkan. Elisha left the oxen standing there, ran after Elijah and said to him, first let me go and kiss my father and mother goodbye and then I will go with you. Elijah replied, this is Elijah now, go on back, but think about what I have done to you. So, Pachayam we Katarodel o Elijah, I go on a photo at a cow Elisha, Elisha Sazak farmer. Elisha's out there, he's plowing his fields, he's, he's got his oxen, he's got his plow, and Elijah goes and he's obedient to God and he takes off his cloak and he puts it on Elisha. Now this is where we get the term passing the mantle. I'm sure most of you have heard that term, passing the mantle. It was called the mantle, so sas pelesti. So la tele pesco mantle le pesci bunda la pelesti. Oh, Elisha prinjarda what this means. This means that Elijah is commissioning me to take his place. So prinjarda what this was. He understood that God, that Elisha, Elijah was calling him to be his replacement. And as soon as it happened, pay attention. As soon as it happened, oh, Elisha, chimai pinna kanchi for Elijah. I'm going to go kiss my father and mother and I'm coming with you. Oh, Elijah, shadalis. Oh, Elijah, Kardalis ka shav. Day to go jimmy sto so karuz before you come and follow me. You need to think about it. Now, listen to me tonight. Listen to me. I need to make a statement tonight. A lot of us have made decisions. And we've, we've, we've made decisions to follow the Lord. We've made decisions to be believers. We've made decisions uh, to be Christians. And we made decisions to serve God. But my question tonight is this. Have you really thought about that? Have you really given that some thought? Because that's what Elijah is telling this man. He's telling Elisha, you need to think about what you're doing. You need to understand what you're about to do. You're about to come and sell out for the Lord. You're going to leave your old life. You got to leave everything else behind. You got to be totally committed. You got to be wholehearted when you come and serve God. And this is basically what he's telling him. And listen to me tonight. When you come to serve God, when you, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, when you become a believer in Christ, you are selling out. It's time to sell out. There is no more time for half-heartedness. There is no more time to take a You can't be in one day and out one day. You can't be on the fence about it. You got to be wholehearted. They serve easily. And Bhut Manus never really gave it a lot of thought. A lot of people did thought about it. A lot of people loved the idea. Oh, I can be saved. Oh, I can be a Christian. Oh, I can go to heaven. Boy, my sins can be forgiven. But everyone forgets about the part. You got to pick up your cross and follow him. You got to deny yourself. You got you to gotta put yourself to law. You got to humble yourself. Everyone forgets about that part. Everyone forgets about that part. And now you got to serve the Lord. See, everybody wants... All the, the good things that God has to offer, but they don't want God to take nothing out of their life. And as soon as you to me, if people are teaching you that it's okay to call yourself a servant of the Lord, call yourself a believer, call yourself a follower of Christ, and still hold on to all the things of the world, that doctrine is false. Correct me if I'm wrong, Elder Archie, please, Mughal That is a false doctrine. Because the truth of the matter is this. In order to let Saul Ashimos Katarodil, Musa te mekaz o jungalimosa na chutrayo. It's just that simple. We can't pick and choose what we want from God. Oh Lord, give me some of your blessings. Give me. Give me, per, give me salvation, give me forgiveness, give me, but I don't want anything else. I don't want to give you nothing out of my life. Well, Chachimos is not worth that kulo pachamos. O Chachimos, sir, can I do just kadel? I will 
o del del tur o scapimos ai del tur del tur pesco scapimos o del mano del prami avria na chu trial new creation in christ the old must go the new has come the new has come right not a buffet worta very good chuka not a buffet we can't pick and choose what we want from god no we got to get all of it and all of it means we also must die to ourselves. We have to die. The flesh must die. Our, 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 our desires must die. Our ambitions must die. Our will must die. Our plans must die. Our desires must die. We must receive His desires. We must receive His plan. We must receive uh, His vision. We must receive... So, so, let's go. Let's go. And that's where we're at today. This is what God is calling us to. He's calling us to this right now. This is where we must be. This is the time. If there ever was a time now that we've got to be wholehearted, committed, sell out for Jesus is now. Sounds hard. Yes, it is. Oh, but it's sure worth it, Eddie. It's worth it. It's worth everything. It's worth everything. So here. You know what I told myself when I started tonight, when I was preparing this message, I said, you know what? I'm not going to keep anybody long. I'm going to share this message in 15 minutes. I didn't even get to the first point yet that I've been talking for 15 minutes. <laughs> so let's keep going. So point number one, point number one. He did not hesitate when he was called. I'm talking about Elisha now. Three points about Elisha tonight. He did not hesitate when he was called. There was zero hesitation, zero hesitation when God called him. Now, I believe everybody wants to serve the Lord. I think everyone does. I think if you ask anybody, they will all say the same words. We all want to serve the Lord. We want to serve God. But the problem is we want to serve God on our time. Our time. When I'm ready. When I'm comfortable. My time. But listen to me about obedience. I need to share this tonight about obedience. Delayed obedience is disobedience. Yeah, yeah. Delayed obedience is disobedience. When God calls, our answer needs to be, here I am, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's no, it, the, what should never be in our vocabulary is, wait, Lord. Not now, Lord. You know what? Don't call him Lord then. Because Lord means he's master. When God calls a person, he calls them now. And he expects no hesitation. Amindar. That's right, just like Abraham. I want to read a verse of scripture. Luke chapter 9, verses 59 and 60. Tonkan. He said to another person, now this is this is Jesus talking, and, and look what Jesus is saying. He said to another person, Come follow me. A man agreed, but he said, Lord, first let me return home and bury my father. Verse 60, Motol Kadat. But Jesus told him, let the spiritual dead bury their own dead. Your duty is to go and preach about the kingdom of God. So Jesus goes and calls this man and this man says, okay, I'll follow you, Lord. But first, let me go bury my father and then I'll come and follow you. It seems like a simple request. He had to go bury his father. But listen to me. Most scholars believe, most scholars believe that this man's father didn't even die yet. His father was living and breathing. His father was fine. You see, when he said, first let me go bury my father, then I'll follow you. What he was telling Jesus is this. Jesus after Merola Mugodad, I after Merola Mugaday, and after I have no other commitments, then I'll follow you. Let me take care of this commitment first. Let me put my house in order. Let me fix my family, and then I'll come and follow you. 
That's delayed obedience. Kanatos prami ang ladil. Kanatos prami ang ladil before te servis le devlis. This is what he was saying. Epalo ko dapin na lesko Jesus. Let the spiritually dead go bury the dead. You come and follow me now. That's what he told him. Asunen su pen after me now. Bujene karan. Tomorrow I'm going to start being right with God. Tomorrow I'm going to start praying. Tomorrow I'm going to start reading the Bible. Tomorrow I'm going to repent of my evil ways. Tomorrow I'm going to serve the Lord. Tomorrow I'm going to be faithful to God. Tomorrow I'm going to go on a diet. I'm sure a few of us said that before. And you want to know the problem about tomorrow? Tomorrow never comes. It never does. It never comes. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. The worst word in the Christian vocabulary is tomorrow. No, magapra magapea. Today we need to serve the Lord. Right now we need to serve the Lord. Today we need to be committed to God. Today we need to do what we can for the Lord. Today we need to be obedient to God's voice. Today we need to surrender to God. Today we need to obey. Today, right now, while we still have an opportunity. Listen to me. Some of you are in this room tonight and you're saying, tomorrow I'm going to start being obedient. Tomorrow I'm going to be faithful. Tomorrow I'm going to change my life. We don't know if you got tomorrow. You don't know if tomorrow's going to come. We don't, have, we don't have a guarantee about tomorrow. Let me make that clear to you. I pray in Jesus' name. But listen to me. Tomorrow is promised to no man. We must make the most of the opportunities we have today, right now, to serve the Lord. Be committed to God now. Not tomorrow. Because tomorrow will never come. Matthew 4, 21 and 22 says this. A little further up the shore, he saw two other brothers, James and John, sitting in the boat with their father, Zebedee, repairing their nets. And he called them to come. They immediately, catch this now, immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. Are you catching that tonight, church? You see the difference? This one guy, he was called, I got to go bury my father, and he never followed. And you want to know something? His name is not mentioned anywhere in scripture ever again. His name is not even mentioned here. But pay attention, James and John, when James and John was called, what did they do? Mekle sako fellow. Mekle pingadades, mekle opampuri, mekle sako fellow. I terepe pala Christo, I serve Israeli Christos. And here's the beautiful part. James and John's name, we all know. James and John's name, we all know. Why? Why? Because they became something, they, uh, Bar Barilei, and, and now Akanal, the Wadiz, or James, or John. No, because they be chose to be faithful to God. We see their faithfulness to the Lord. That's why we can preach about James and John. That's why we can talk about James and John. These men became his disciples. These men became two of the most closest disciples was James and John. The sons of thunder, very good. Because they obeyed the Lord. That's the difference. Immediate obedience. Number two, pay attention. His commitment was absolute. Somebody put commitment was absolute, Bobby. If you could put that up on the board. His commitment was absolute. Verse 21 of 1 Kings 19 says this. Tonkan. So Elisha returned to his oxen and slaughtered them. He used the wood from the plow to build a fire to roast their flesh. He passed around the meat to the townspeople and they all ate. Then he went with Elijah as his assistant. Commitment was absolute. What did he do? Golo, he took his oxen, his cows, and he made a barbecue. And he used the plow as the wood. He burned them, cooked them, and fed everybody on a photo. His commitment was absolute. 
So what does this mean? Because he burned the plows and killed the cows. So many opi. I'll tell you what it means. He had nothing to go back to. Nothing to go back to. I, I, I need you to catch this tonight. He made sure that there was no plan B. Nothing to go back to. No turning back. That's right, Frank. God bless you. No turning back. His commitment was absolute. He wanted to make sure that if he's going to follow Elijah, he's going to follow him wholeheartedly, never to turn back. He is going to be obedient. He is going to follow the Lord. He's going to do whatever he needs to do to obey God's voice and no option of ever turning back from where he came from. My question tonight is this, and please, no one get upset what I'm saying tonight, please. A lot of people during this pandemic, during this situation, have made decisions to start serving the Lord. And I thank the Lord for it. Praise the Lord. People are repenting. People are coming back to the Lord. People are, are making confessions of faith again. Uh, people are turning back to God. Whole, and I thank the Lord. Chachez, chachez, I thank the Lord for it. But here's my question tonight. In back of your mind, right now, in back of your mind, and, and don't answer me. You need to ask yourself this question. Right now, in back of your mind, do you have a plan B? Do you have a plan B? Are you thinking in your mind, maybe, maybe, maybe in back of your head, yes, I'm going to be committed. I'm going to start going back to church again. I'm going to call the pastor and ask to serve in church. I'm going to ask for a job on Ikangari. I'm going to, I'm going to start uh, giving money to the poor. I'm going to start uh, repenting of my sin. I'm going to start walking with Christ. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to pray. But maybe, maybe in the back of your mind, you're thinking, when things get better, The church opens. I'll be committed for a little while. But man, I sure miss the casino. I sure miss the bar. I sure miss the card house. I'll be committed for a little while. But I'll go back to where I came from. Please listen. We're not fooling God. We're fooling ourselves. We're fooling ourselves. I've been in my class of Menga Le Devesa. I've been in my class of Menga with Amaro commitment, Kadil. Tarpinim earlier. Manai time. Manai, there's no more time to play with God anymore. The Bulamaru commitment needs to be wholehearted. We need to burn our plows. We need to cook the cows. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. Burn the plows. Barbecue those cows. Kill them. Get rid of them. Nothing to turn back to. That's right. We need to make up our mind. We need to be wholehearted. We need to be dedicated. Nothing to go back to. Thank you, Jesus, because you can't stop the enemy and you can't stop the enemy. You can't stop the enemy and you can't stop the enemy. We need total surrender. We don't want to stop the enemy. Total surrender. Manai Taimo for the kindergarten Christianity. So many of Christ kindergarten Christianity. Just a closet. Play church. Play Christianity. Play with God. No, it's time that we get serious with God. Be devoted to that. It's time that we grow up. It's time to, 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 to be the people that God has called us to be, to be mature believers in Christ, wholehearted, dedicated. Gadel. You see, unfortunately, and I got to say this tonight, a lot of people don't want to follow Jesus. They want Jesus to follow them. Yeah, I said it. They want people to follow. They want Jesus to follow them. Jesus, I want you to follow me wherever I go. And whatever I do, Jesus, I want you to follow me. 
No more to pray, more to pray. Check her ram and Odell. Check her ram and Odell to follow us. Jesus has called us. He's called the Christians. He's called the believers to follow Him, not uh, not Him follow us. I made the bulti lazim in palalisti. It's time. Dixo Penel or Jesus in Luke chapter nine verse sixty two. Dixo motope. But Jesus told him, anyone who puts his hand to the plow and then looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. O manus kai topes ko vas po plow ay di kau papale is not fit for God's kingdom. Mga prao mga pea manay tayo mo tindi kas palaw kai kataravilem. We need to stop looking back from where God delivered us from. We need to go forward with the Lord. There's a something happened in the 1500s. Tonkan. Uh, so explorer at Bushola's Cortez, and he was from Cuba. And he took a bunch of men, he took 11 ships in total from Cuba, and he traveled to Mexico. Please, Tonkan. He traveled to Mexico. Now, this was in the 1500s. So really and truly, not coining on Mexico, just in the ISS. So he went as an explorer. So he took 11 ships, I don't know how many men, five, 600 men, on Garda, on Mexico. And now he took the men in Mexico and now they're exploring Mexico to make a new world on Mexico. Well, after a couple of weeks, the, the, the men that came with him, the five or 600 men, Caisas Lesa, uh, got homesick. They got homesick and they wanted to turn back and go back to Cuba. But a Cortez didn't want them to leave. So they decided, Sardenas Duma, that they're gonna go back in the middle of the night while he's sleeping, sit there, get the ships and leave him behind. They're going to just abandon him because they're going back home to Cuba. So Galo Cortez, Dika Kogajo, explorer, and in the middle of the night, Galo Aydayag Salinga Pampura. He put the ships on fire. He burned all the ships. All 11 ships, he burned them to the ground so that they have no way of getting back. He stopped them from going forward. To go back where they came from. They got to go forward. Now what's the point of the story? Please listen. We need to burn the ships. We need to burn the bridges. And we need not to turn back where we came from. We need to make no more provisions for the flesh. We need to make no more provisions to turn back. We need to lock the doors. And we need to make sure that we go forward. Odel Mugapramagapea never called us to go back. He only called us to go forward. And I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray on Onavle Christosko, Gido Manieka Namenete, Jazangle, to go forward with the Lord, to go forward on Ebuchile Devleski, Te Servizle Devlesa Marilesa, Te Avas faithful, Te Avas committed, Te Avas wholeheartedly, Le Devleska, Te Namayang Jas Papale Katarskapi Sardam in Odel. In Jesus' name, make no provision for the flesh. No retreat, no turning back, moving forward. That's the type of that's the type of, of, of decision we must make. And then number three, number three, uh, God gave him more because he gave up more. You gotta catch this tonight, please. I end with this point. God gave him more because he gave up more. 2 Kings 2.9 says this, Tonkan. When they came to the other side, Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what I can do for you before I am taken away. O Elijah, pushel katar Elisha. Before Avel, o chariot, ilelo Elijah. O Elijah, pushel katar pesko genoakana. What can I do for you before I'm taken away? Tonkan. And Elisha replied, please let me inherit a double share of your spirit and become your successor. In other words, so Pendaliska, I want a double portion, a double portion of your anointing. I'm sure most of you have heard this story. I want a double portion of your anointing. Master, I want double. I want twice as much. Hi, Kokomo, God bless you. I want twice as much. I want more. I want more, Lord. I want more. I want more. And because he gave more, because he gave up more, God gave him more. 
And if you know the story about Elijah, Elijah the prophet has recorded seven miracles. Elijah has seven miracles recorded. Elisha has 14 miraculous miracles recorded. Twice as much as his, as his leader had. Because Mangla. You see, what is the point to all of this? You got to catch this tonight. Please listen. You'll never be sorry obeying God. You'll never be sorry committing your life to God. You'll never be sorry being wholehearted to God. You'll never be sorry selling out for God. They don't want to give nothing up of their life. And I said this earlier. Listen to me tonight. And listen to what I'm about to tell you. If you don't remember anything else I say, remember this. You will never outgive God. You will never outgive God. What I'm trying to tell you tonight is this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Give it to God. Give your life to God. Give your heart to God. Give it all to God. Give it to God. Don't worry about being committed to God. Don't worry about being dedicated to God. Yo, I'm going to miss out on so much if I, if I get committed to God. I'm going to miss out on all the fun of the world. Listen to me. This world's got nothing good to offer. All it's got is pain, sorrow, chokomos, and prikaza to offer. The only, pers- the only place you're going to find peace, joy, happiness, satisfaction is in God. Is in God, and don't worry about being committed to God. God will bless you for it. Because of Adi Devlesco, because of Sun Samoli Devlesco Pecho Trao, because of blessing Le Devlesco Pechi Familia, Peche Glati, and a Chokar, I will to Pacha, I will to Hodina, like you never knew before. You could go to sleep in peace and comfort because you know you're you're committed to God. You know you're obeying God. There's nothing like being obedient to God. There's not a peace that the world cannot give you. Karatujan isn't a choilo that you're obedient to God and you're faithful. To God. So now that I'm a pro, let me tell you something. It's not boring being committed to God. It's not disgusting being faithful to God. It's the most exciting thing in the world when you can serve the Lord and be faithful to Him. And you know in your heart that God is pleased with you. Let me tell you something. There's not a life worth living if it ain't worth living for the Lord. But let me tell you something. On the reverse of that, when you serve the Lord and you're faithful to God and you're committed to God and you're wholehearted to God. There's nothing. Take it from somebody who knows. I'm telling you. Take it from me. There's no peace, no happiness, no joy apart from being faithful and obedient to the Lord and serving the Lord wholeheartedly. So listen, if you get anything out of tonight's message, remember this truth that I'm telling you tonight. Let's be committed to God. Let's be devoted to God and don't worry about it. Yo, I'm going to miss out on so much. There's nothing to miss out on. Pachama, there's nothing to miss out on. Sa chokomos. Elumia chokomosla. Chokomos, it's terrible. There's nothing good in it. Don't let anybody lie you. Yo, I see everybody on Instagram. Chokhavin. Chokhavin, they're lying. It's all a lie. So, Godi Shinavel Elumia se chokhaimos. Chokomos se Elumia. This world is passing. This world is fading away. If you haven't figured out the Ilumia, so Chokomos, turn on the TV and you'll see so the Chokomos se Ilumia. Chokomosla. That's why we need to run to God and be committed, wholehearted, faithful to the Lord. I want to read this last verse of scripture. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Please listen. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, you will reap a harvest of blessing if you don't give up. Don't get tired of doing good. Don't get tired of being committed to God. Don't get tired of being faithful to God. Don't get tired of obeying God's voice. Don't don't get tired. Don't get tired of living for the Lord. Don't get tired of it. It's the best life. It's the life, only life worth living. It's kind of son committed, kind of son obedient, kind of less to paladel, like a so mongolo del tutar, kind of tutra isle de vleska. I dig some motol. Just at the right time, you will reap a harvest of blessing. Listen to me, you'll never outgive God. God will bless you for it. 
Dikasa tu uvaz li devles ko like you never seen before. I'm giving so much to us. They survive li devles. They are obedient. Kadel, God's gonna give me a lot of money. No, I never said that. But you'll have peace. You'll have joy. You'll have God's pr presence in your life, like you never experienced before. And yes, magapram magapia. God will provide all of your needs. That I do know for sure. God will provide for you. So nadara, don't ever worry about giving to God. Don't ever worry about serving the Lord. Don't ever worry about being obedient to God. God will bless you for it. You will see the hand of God and the power of God move like you never did before. You will experience God like you never did before. Elisha was a sellout. And man, he saw the hand of God move. Some of the greatest miracles recorded in scripture is recorded from this man because he was a sellout. It's time we sell out for God. And I'm believing in the name of Jesus. I'm believing that we are going to see the power and the anointing and the move of God like we haven't seen in many, many years after this is all over. I'm believing the Lord for that. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to pray for you tonight. So I'm going to ask a question tonight and I'm going to put you on the spot. Who's ready to be fully committed to God tonight? Who wants to make that declaration of faith tonight? That I'm going to be committed. If you are, put your hand up tonight. Put your hand up tonight. If you're ready to be committed to God tonight and say, yes, Lord, I want to be committed to you tonight. Put up your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put up your hand tonight because we're going to pray. We're going to pray tonight. We're going to pray and ask God to bless and to seal your decision tonight. No more turning back. No more turning back. Burn those plows, kill those cows tonight. That's what we're going to do. Burn the plow and kill the cow tonight. The cows must die. Slaughter those cows tonight. Let's have a barbecue. Let's kill those cows. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Full commitment. Full total commitment to the Lord tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're making a commitment, Mugodat. They're making them a wholehearted commitment to you tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Devla, for all of those, Mugodat, that have made a commitment tonight. Lord, dig Pelende, Devla. Bless them, their families, their houses, their children, Mugodat. I pray, Mugodat, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would provide every need in their life, Devla. So, Godi Trubulle, spiritually, physically, financially, Mugodat, supernatural provision for all of them, Lord. And Father, I pray that you will empower each and every one of them through your Holy Spirit, Devla. They serve into Mugodat. I pray that there will be a mighty anointing of your Holy Spirit, Devla, upon their life, Mugodat. That they will experience you like they never did before. They had an unsure peace. They had an unsure joy, Devla. They had an unsure presence, Mugodat, like they never did before, Lord. I pray from this night forward, Devla, that you, Devla, would change their lives. Fill them, anoint them, use them, Lord, for your glory in a mighty way, Devla. All for your purpose, Devla. Devil Chirona Barado, Devla, and Trayo Mugodat. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You are welcome here, Holy Spirit. Come on. Want this place, Spirit of God? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to be overcome. Overcome by your presence, Lord. Overcome by your spirit, Devla. Overcome by you, Mugodad. Pera Mendevla. Pera Mendevla. Fill us, Lord. Transform us, Lord. Empower us, Lord. In Jesus' name. All of your people, Mugodad. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray the presence of God will manifest himself in Itumaratraura like he never did before. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
Te Hernández Kodujo. Te Hernández Kodujo presence like you never did before. In Jesus' name, that the power of God will be evident in your lives. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I love you too, Archie. God bless you, Mughal Prown. God bless you, Makins. God bless you, Mughal Prown. Arthur, I love you, my brother. Delta is consoled to us out of our families in Jesus' name. Baba, I love you, Mughal Prown. Frank, Cindy, God bless you. Sophia, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. All right, we've got a few minutes. Any other prayer requests before we go out of the room? Hi, Elder Paul, God bless you. For Bam Bam, yes, let's pray for Bam Bam right now. Mughudar, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Bam Bam, Lord. Heal him, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Alan, God bless you, Mughudar. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, Tony. I love you, Mughal Pral. We miss you. For Anthony Cooper and his family for guidance. Lord, I pray for Anthony Devla. So blessing te do pelesti devla. So vaste do pelesti devla. Give him guidance, Mughal In Jesus' name. Uh, Stanley Sarasota. Healing upon Stanley tonight, Mughal In Sarasota, Sastadlis Devla. And Onabli Christosko. Tonight I want to pray for Gilda White for healing. Sastadla Mugodad, we know you can, we know you're able. We pray for Pastor Danny's wife, a Diane Lord. Healing Pilate in Jesus' name. I pray for Kiki Wan tonight, Devla. Sastaradis Mugodad. Coronable Christosko. Yes, you did, Morgan. And you know what? God bless you for it. You made a commitment tonight, Morgan, and because of that, I pray the blessings of the Lord upon you and all of your family in Jesus' name. God bless you, Morgan. Pray for Brother Bobby. Yes, I pray for Bobby Mugopral, Deacon Bob. I pray Devla Chovas Devla Pilesti, healing Pilesti Mugodan, Anunable Christosko. And I pray all of the blessings of the Lord be to Mendy. Kathy, I pray healing from Kathy tonight in Jesus' name. Peace upon everyone, Lord. Blessing Sabahanga Mughadan. I thank the Lord for all of you. I thank the Lord. Amen. I accept that. Right? I thank the Lord for all of you tonight that took the time to stay in the room with us. I pray God's blessings. We will be on again tomorrow night. And uh, uh, make sure you join us. We love you.